Hi everyone, my name is Juan Contreras. I am a senior data engineer working at Pingala. And today I'm going to explain you how to extract data from SAP through functional model for all data service with click talent. Before to continue with this, I would like to show you and explain you a general architecture diagram where we can understand how we connect SAP with click talent. Let's see. In this general architecture diagram, in the right, we have SAP with the message server, application server, and the functional model. The message server is only for cluster configuration. The functional models supports Delta, generic, and pagination process. We expose our OData web service interconnecting and calling this functional model. Once our web service has been exposed, we create a beauty code, a beauty job in Click Talent, where we are sending requests and getting response. And then we unstructure the data that can be XML and JSON format. And moving that into a new target databases that can be Snowflake, Azure, MySQL, and many others. Let's see three different examples for this one. Let's go with the Delta. A Delta process is when we need to get new data in a table that already exists and has records. A Delta process is a difference between the data that has been inserted before and with the new data. We just need to not load the old data again. In Talent, we use different components to create this process, filtering the data, creating some customizable code in Java. The functional models in SAP supports Delta processes as well. So we just need to use and understand this code and create this in Talent. It's important to see how Talent let us create some, some context variables to use the different states and continue with the insertion of the data. This process can be running weekly, daily, monthly, yearly, as many dates we want with this. Let's go to the another example for the pagination. SAP with the functional models and the old data web service supports Pagination. Pagination is important because when we have large tables with thousands of millions of records, it helps us to improve our performance running all of this data. And also, pagination puts less stress in SAP and as well in the Dallas serving through looping this. We have a big table with layers of data and we're saving this in our web service in blocks of thousands of records. Let's hit this with an example on Talent. Here is an example in Talent when we are calling our OData web service and this is calling our functional model that has paginations. In this process in Talent, we just create some code, creating different components and iterating this with looping this and structure the data in the XML format, creating some, lo some blocks and putting this in a target database that is Azure SQL Server. So it's also important to remind all of this that SAP through the functional model supports pagination and in talent with looping this process, iterating in each of these pagination and getting all the records in portion in blocks when we have big and large tables. Now let's move let's move an example where we just use Talent to send the request, get the response for a full data table. We're just not using Delta pagination but we just need to get all the information of the table at the same time. So we can do this in Talent. 
In Pingala, we always follow the best practices using the prejob, opening the connection, closing this, and create a beauty code renaming the uh, different components properly. Let's run this job to see what happened. Once the job starts running, it's sending the different requests to the old data service and calling the, the functional the functional models. Once we get the response, Dalits start getting the data and, and extracted this through this component. For this case, we have a table that has that has more than 19,000 records. This is a log where we can see how the data looks. In this job, we create two different outputs, a flat file and a target. Let's see how the data looks for our flat file. Before running this job, the data was sending in our old data service, calling the functional model in an XML format. Once we run the job, we're just getting two different outputs, the flat file and the insertion in the database. So let's see how the data looks in a flat file. I open this, and you will see that the data was inserted properly. And now let's go to our database. Let's make a let's let's make run this query where we got the same number of records, more than 19,000 in just one execution. And let's run this another job where we can see the data. Here we go. As you can see in these three different examples, there are different ways that we can get data from SAP through the functional model and the OData service. We can use Delta processes, we can use pagination, and we can use full data processes. With these three different examples, Delta, pagination, full data, it's easy to see how we can connect the talent with SAP to the functional models, the old data services. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. And don't forget to follow in the channel that we have hit in YouTube. If you have some additional tips, don't forget to call in us again.